continue their discussions about causes of hyponatremia. So hyponatremia, we have here the serum osmolality or the amount of solute uh, present in the blood or in the solution. So we have the normal value and we have the low value and high value. Normal value range as 280 to 295 mini osmoles per kilogram of the human body. So the term is isotonic. When you say isotonic, there is a uh, normal or balanced amount of solute and solvent in a uh, specifically inside the cell. Okay, so that is term as hyponatremia. Okay, and hyponatremia siya, that is below the normal. So hyperproteinemia and hyperlipidemia, or uh, this refers to the higher amount of protein or higher amount of lipids in the blood, which uh, the chylomicrons, triglycerides, generally cholesterols are uh, mostly at high value in the blood. So it will cause low amount of sodium. Okay, and for hypotonic or hypotonic natremia refers to the uh, low amount of solute that is present inside the cells so kung hypotonic siya so the, there is a tendency of the cells to burst because water will enter the blood cells so it will lead to the uh, dependent volume status hypobolemic the eubolemic and then we have the hyperbolemic so when you say hypobolemic, so that is um, low amount of uh, sodium, okay, and even the in then even the volume of water. So we have the amount of sodium that is less than 10 MEQ and more than MEQ. So for for the external salts loss, we have dehydration nagkaroon ng dehydration so more uh, amount of water or fluid are being excreted out of the body and diarrhea of course and also even vomiting it will cause the extra uh, renal salt loss kung ang makalaman renal salt loss so it is caused by different diuretic drugs because diuretic drugs uh, increase the volume urine the ACE inhibitors ACE inhibitors, these are enzymes that blocks the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which lead to uh, increase also the bullium and sodium uh, excretion out, excretion in the body. So nephropathies, or there is a problem in the nephron, or known to be the nephron is the uh, basic structural unit of kidney. So if there is nephropathies or diseases, it will cause also hypobolemic. And we have mineral mineral corticoid deficiency. Okay, so this one is the uh, deficiency. There is what we call uh, prolonged administration of heparin or uh, adrenal ectectomy or the remove. Uh, there is a removal of the uh, adrenal gland, so it will promote sodium and water retention also. So it will cause hypobolemic naman. Okay, and eubolemic. So we have the CIAD. Okay, or syndrome uh, inappropriate antidiuretic hormone post-operative hyponatremia so after the surgical operation so there is what you call lowering of the uh, sodium ion in the blood hypothyroidism okay so that is a subnormal activity of a thyroid gland so this disease uh, activity is due to the overdose of antithyroid medication if the patient is uh, maintaining antithyroid so it will lower the thyroid okay so it will also decrease the uh, activity of releasing hormone by the hypothalamus that is uh, known to be hyperthyroidism. It will affect also the balance, the electrolyte balance of the body. And we have the psychogenic polydips polydipsia and beer proto protomania, so excessive drinking of beer. So this is what the idiosyncratic or the uh, adverse effects of drug reaction like diacide, diuretics, and even ACE inhibitors. So endurance exercise, too much exercise or over exercise. 
So over exercise will lead to over uh, uh, sweating. So uh, there are a lot of fluid that will be uh, excreted out of the body. And then we have the adrenocortotropin uh, deficiency. So we're in there is a problem already in the uh, production of the cortisol or the adrenocortotropin hormone. So because cortisol uh, functions for the water and salt balance maintenance so if there's a problem in the production of cortisol so it will uh, cause the imbalance of both uh, salt and water or sodium so we have hypervolumic edematostates so kung edemato siya mayroon sa congestive heart failure okay, or liver diseases nephrotic syndrome so this one is nephrotic uh, there is a problem already or uh, probably affected the nephron and advanced renal failure. So, kung advanced renal failure siya, so there is a uh, amount of fluid that's accumulated in the body that will lead to edematous state.